This is a piece of the second book in a trilogy that I'm finishing now, called Bones of Starlight. This is a fantasy space opera. <laughs> and I'm reading for us here a description by a mentor of dragons. Soleil recalled her lessons in the voice of her dragon teacher, Arcuda. There is a common trait in new dragons. They are curious. They grant more boons in order to learn about the world. As hungry for knowledge as they are for food, they affect their part in this natural exchange by enabling capabilities. It makes them vulnerable, but they must learn humility in order to gain their maturity. New dragons have to learn their reality and become known in it. This means meeting life forms halfway. Older dragons grant fewer boons than the newly hatched because they understand the consequences. New dragons make more mistakes with greater extravagance and they have to make up for it. They have the ignorance of those newly born into power, which they must endeavor to grow beyond. Granting a boon is like giving away a scale, leaving a vulnerable patch. One doesn't see scales missing, but the vulnerabilities remain and add up. Some humans say we have that in common with regards to getting older. If we appear to you somewhat like lizards, to lizards we appear somewhat like you. We are sufficiently alien to everyone, including ourselves. We are sovereign and clearly so, even to each other. So in this, dragons are elementals that can inspire science, and these elements are multivarious and much greater than our periodic table. How about, yeah. That's a little bit about it. <laughs>